Hi everyone, how's it going today? Um, and today is something new going to be brought to the channel. Um, I normally do trailer reviews, which I'll be doing those here shortly. Um, but also, I will be doing movie review, uh, like Netflix, uh, TV show reviews, whatever. Because I have Netflix and I was like, well, I'm watching all these episodes, why not put you know this on things? So today we're going to be talking about Supergirl. Um, season 1. Um, now, I'm not going to bring down every episode, but I'm just going to go over some of the highlights of what I like. And please, down in the comments, leave me some of the things that you liked about um, the first season of Supergirl. Uh, first of all, I do really like the girl who, I don't know her name, but I really like the girl who plays Supergirl. She definitely has a good mix of, you know, downtown girl, you know, hometown farm girl slash, you know, things like that. So, um, she's not, she's a pretty girl, but she's not overly pretty. So, they didn't, you know, she's saying she can act and stuff like that. So, I really like that. Um, I like all the people. I like when, um, interesting that, um, Jerry Olsen is an African American, which is very good because they versatile. Um, there's some things in season two that happen. That's another thing. But um, Carrie Carrie Grant, Cat Grant, um, is great. She plays probably like the best part. Of, she should win an Oscar. She plays probably the best part in every different uh, season and other sh TV shows that I watch. There's always that one person that sticks out, and she's that person. Um, I just I do love it. Um, there's other heroes there. They have. Uh, let me highlight some of these things. So I don't want to repeat myself, but. Uh, there's other heroes like John Jones, which is the Martian Manhunter, which he plays a great part. He's CG, but uh, he turns into the director of the DEO, and he, um, it's really, really cool because he promised um, their dad, Jeremiah that his daughters would be safe, and I think that's a really cool um, thing. Speaking of Jeremiah, Jeremiah actually plays is the guy who played the old Superman TV show, which I never watched nor liked, um, but this is really, really interesting. Uh, and then... It's cool because Superman, it's interesting because Jeremiah plays the dad of the two girls, which is Supergirl and um, Alex, but Superman is he, he there, but you never get to see him in episode, um, season one. Um, you kind of see him, he flies when Myriad takes over, and then she types him on the computer, but other than that, um, that was crazy. Um, it was really, really cool to see one of my favorite, I know it's going to sound weird, but one of my favorite things from the comic, I watch a lot of the DC TV shows. Um, with Batman, Justice League, stuff like that, and they had the Black Mercy, which I thought was really cool because um, uh, one of the guys in the TV show, in the cartoon, gave Superman the Black Mercy for his birthday, and uh, Wonder Woman and Batman is fighting. Like, Wonder Woman was beating the crap out of. Uh, I forgot, I always forget his name. Not, I don't know his name, but uh, and Batman's trying to get him off and tell him, "Hey, look, you know, this is it." So, um, oh, they have a Brainiac which is the woman brain version of Brainiac. So I don't know, is there, in this universe, is there multiple versions of Brainiac, or is there not multiple versions of Brainiac? That is the question of the day. <laughs> so um, Max Lore is also a very good character. He plays like a Lex Luthor type of guy. Um, really, really interesting. Um, I'm really excited to see where he goes further. Even though I've seen episode two already, but I still, he's, he's a good guy. Really smart, builds stuff, cool stuff. And also, the Flash from the other, which if y'all want to see the Flash, like I said in the comments, post the Flash, the Arrow, any of the any of the hero uh, episode ones, I definitely don't mind doing the next one you guys can pick. Um, but the Flash appears in one of the episodes and she uh, kind of got a crush on him. And, and it's really weird because they're both kind of nerdy, but uh, interesting enough, Olsen gets mad. So, that's what I think about season one of Supergirl. I am super stoked to get to season two, so I'm going to start watching that soon. Um, and there's going to be more of these uh, episode review TV shows, episode, you know, things like that. So let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for more content. There's plenty of other things that if you guys enjoy those things. Boom, Supergirl!